Good evening, everyone. So tonight's going to be quick because I'm still trying to get this Draw My Life finished, and it's been crazy. So um, tonight's video, I'm going to show you how to create the sorter. Um, I know I've shown it to you guys before, but uh, just to show you again, um, basically you drop drop a piece in here, or you've got two pieces in here. Let's see, do I have another one? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, that one will work. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, come on. So when that one registers, it will actually reverse this. Whoa, come on. All right, come here. Let's start this over. Let's get this all staged up. All right. Come here, you. Come here. There we go. Okay. So. You got the first piece of wood that goes in, and the second piece of wood that goes in. You've got two detectors. Oh, kind of get those spaced out a little bit. Come down here to the end. I've got a piece of blue. Oh, oh, oh! I deactivated it. There we go. Piece of blue wood in there, and watch. The blue wood gets detected. It reverses this roller, kicks the blue off the track, and turns it all back on. There we go. Had to give it a little push. That one goes through. And I've got another one detecting right here, but I don't don't have it wired up. So that's basically how it works, and we're gonna get started. <laughs> okay, so for my side, um, because I have my track going this direction. Sorry, push that around. There we go. This direction, technically, that's on. So I have to do a, a with an inverter. So. The parts that you're going to need are a wood detector, a, sustain, a, a sustained signal, or a signal sustain. Um, on mine, I need an inverter uh, and four wires. So for the first part, let's go ahead and put the uh, detector in place. Now what I did is I put it right... Oh, come here. Ah. Stop moving. There we go. I put it right here at the edge, so it detects it, and there's a little bit of a delay, but not much. Uh, rotate right there, and you want it right there on the lip, on the cusp. Ooh, I don't know if that's too low. I'm going to place it. Nope, that's just right. So it's going to be low enough that if there's a flat... Hold on. Let me use a piece of palm here. Come here, you. This way I can get up there and see it. Oh. That way it's just right over that edge. Okay. Go ahead and grab your sample. Uh, for mine, I'm going to put the blue wood back. Oh, come here. Come here. And get in there. Good. Just double check to make sure that the, uh, the laser is going over the top and it does extend past to the other side. And it does. We're good. Okay. Then what I like to do is I like to put the sustainer right below the detector. Oh, come on. This way everything's just kind of together. You, you don't have to. You can put it wherever. Oh, come on. Turn, turn. There we go. And rotate, rotate. And E. There we go. Look at the arrow. See the arrow? So my wire has to come from the back side to this side and then out. So let's grab this wire. Move. And... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Code! It's Code! He's here! Code! Hey, code! What's going on, Code? <laughs> There's one. And just because it's like kind of wonky here, I'll have it come out here, hit this, come on, and then jump it back in here. And that's just so I can get it, get it going quickly. There we go. Finished. So that's hooked up. Uh, that will start the signal sustain and not a delay. 
You could use a delay, but it, yeah, it's weird. And we're going to go from here to here and right here. Finished. And what that will do, that will turn on the little bar to push. So as soon as it's got a detection, it'll push the bar. And then, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put my inverter. Come on. Upside down and right here. Come on. Yeah, that's good. All right, and we're going to hook this up so it automatically turns that on. Move. And this is this is a little weird. You got to kind of fold it over the lips here. Oh, come on. There we go. E comes over to here, right there. Okay. Oh, uh, I was a little off. But that's okay. And then that can go right there. Finished. And that should automatically be on. Good. Whoa, nice. All right. And move. Uh, signal output is here. Just kind of drop that down a little bit. Oh, no, I need to drop it down a lot more. Drop it down right there. And then I can just shoot that straight across. Right there. And finished. Sweet. So when it receives the signal, it will kick on the bar it will invert right here and turn off the uh, turn right here. You could have a straight, um, straight con, 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 conveyor belt. Wow. Sorry, it's really hot in here and the air conditioner's broke, so you might hear some fans on and I'm a little flustered. <laughs> so anyhow, um, that's how everything's hooked up. Uh, let's, let's give it a test real quick. Just make sure everything's working. Ooh, come on, get on there. Beep, beep. Sweet. And as soon as that's done, should turn back off. Should turn back. Okay, what happened here? Oh, I got a, I got a signal cross there. Darn it. All right, let's e move. Just take this down here, finished. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so had a wire across. Uh, in the electronics world, that's called a short. I shorted out the circuit. So let's try this again. I'm going to put it just above so it's not right on it, but it's still touching. There we go. Okay. Zoom out. Come to the top. Come to here. Let's zip out. E. And then we're going to hit this side. Try not to touch the wires here. Yeah, that'll work. Right about there. That way it's not touching, but it can zip back over here to the input. Finished. There we go. No, that's not touching, right? Not touching. Okay. And try it once again. It goes through. Detects. Turns on. Kicks over. Nice. And... And there it goes. I'm glad it worked. Okay, so now let's test with two pieces of wood. We're going to put the blue in front and the red behind. The red should stop and stay in that little um, that turn. 
There we go. And it's blue 95 coming around the corner. He's up ahead. He's ahead of red dash. Sorry. Thinking horse races. Detects. Oh, there it went. See? See? See how it stops the wood from proceeding and only lets the blue come through? That is awesome. Red passes right on through. Should detect the second one. No, I didn't. All right. Anyhow, um, basically, you're going to do the same thing. This setup is going to go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or however many pieces of wood you want. And if you wanted to, you could have this go up higher, have this coming across, coming across, coming across for like five, uh, five gates, and then have it drop down and turn it around. So everything is going the opposite direction. So you're coming across the top, coming across the top. It drops down, and then you go across the bottom, only dropping off on the opposite side. That way you could essentially make gates for everything. So it's a little bit of logic for tonight. Uh, hi, everyone. Say hello and goodbye. It's really glitchy. I, I've got to go get this draw my life done. <laughs> Same person, low, high. <laughs> Very cool. If you like this video and if you want to see more kinds of videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe down below. And no pressure. Because if you want to, you want to. If not, that's cool too. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Good night.